to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping back by. Today, what I am going to do is I'm going to do a little update. It has been six months since I had my second hip surgery. And so I just wanted to give you a little update on that. I know that I've gotten a lot of great responses from people that either were gonna have hip surgery, they were about to have hip surgery, or they weren't sure. And some of the videos, the little vlogs that I've done have helped them to either make the decision to go ahead with the hip surgery or know what to expect. So I just wanted to give you a little update since it has been six months. Um, I had my first hip surgery in 2019 and that was on my left hip and then I had my right hip um, done in February of this year so it has in fact tomorrow makes exactly six months um, when I'm filming this video so uh, I just wanted to give you a little update um, my recovery has gone great I I was going to physical therapy for probably about two months, but honestly, I didn't feel like they were really, they weren't really doing anything that I couldn't do at home. They weren't really stretching me that much. I was basically doing the same exercises over and over every time I would go. So. If there is one thing that I will tell you if you are going to be having hip surgery is be very vocal when you're going to physical therapy. If you don't feel like they are, you know, either they're working you too hard or they're not working you hard enough, you don't feel like you're progressing, speak up. I actually did speak up at one point because I, I had been like three weeks three times a week and they were not doing any new exercises at all. So um, I finally spoke up and I just, you know, asked, are we doing anything new today? And they were like, no. And so that's when I said, you know, well, yeah, let's, let's try something new. I feel like I can do more. So then they started introducing a few more things and a few more things. But after about, three more weeks of that they they weren't they weren't stretching me at the end of my physical therapy they weren't trying to work on my um, flexibility or my range of motion they basically just had me doing kind of strength exercises but they weren't really increasing those things so it was just kind of stagnant so rather than paying $75 a pop I was like you know what I can do stretches at home I can you know do some of the same exercises at home but you know do more or do them every day which I was trying to do some of the exercises at home on my off days but you know anyway I after a couple months of physical therapy I you know I just said I'm just gonna do it at home so um, that is one thing that I will say if you are going to the physical therapy and you don't feel like they are working you hard enough or you don't feel like you're making enough progress, you need to speak up. Go ahead and speak up. You are paying them to, to make you better. So speak up for yourself and that is, um, you know, that's probably one of the biggest things I'll say. But aside from that, um, I have increased my walking time. Like I go walking every day and before my surgery, I really wasn't able to go walking at all. It, it was kind of to the point where it even hurt just to go to the grocery store and do grocery shopping. So now I'm able to walk 20 to 30 minutes a day at a pretty fast pace. And so that's something that has, that has been wonderful um, after six months I'm you know able to and that was a slow process process too, being able to walk I started 
you know, walking in the neighborhood with my husband when I felt comfortable enough without my cane, but I still wanted just to have, you know, him there just in case I needed some help. But it started out only being like maybe 10 minutes and we would come back. And then it started getting a little easier to go 15 minutes. So it's just, you gotta take baby steps. And that's what I did. I just took baby steps and, and I'm still trying to increase my stamina because honestly, that was also something really huge that I noticed that really needed to be worked on was my stamina. Just being able to walk longer without feeling exhausted. And that is something that is a slow process, but you know, it's better to take it slow than push yourself too hard and then wear yourself out. So um, as far as walking, you know, getting back into a daily exercise, walking is the best thing. In my opinion, it just worked for me. Um, I'm no medical doctor, I'm no medical physician. I don't offer, this is not medical advice. I'm just saying what worked for me. And the walking has been great. Um, so yeah, it's, it's like I said, it's in six months. I feel great. I'm still a little stiff. Like when I put on my tennis shoes, um, it's at first it was like really hard for me to bend my leg up to try to tie my shoe. Um, but I'm noticing it's getting easier and easier and it, it feels um, less of a really hard stretch when I put my tennis shoes on, when I pull my leg up to tie my shoes and stuff. So I notice even after six months, it's still, it's still a process, but it is getting there. And um, I do not regret the decision to have it done at all. So, you know, um, if, if, you, if this is something that you are considering having done, I, I really would 100% say you will not regret it because, I, I mean, I feel like a new person. I don't hurt anymore. I don't ache when it's going to rain, you know. I always thought that was, oh, yeah, right. It, you don't really feel it, you know, when it's going to rain, but you really do. At least I did. When it would be cold, I would ache so bad. So I... You know, I'm just so happy with the results, and um, yeah, I'm happy that I'm able to be more active, you know, so it's a great thing. So if you, look, leave me a comment below if you are thinking about having hip surgery or it's kind of been coming up, or if you are in the middle of your recovery. Let me know down below. Let me know how it's going for you. I would love to hear from you all. Um, so yeah, if, if you're new to my channel and you've, you know, you've never watched one of my videos, go back and watch some of my hip recovery videos, my hip surgery videos. And, um, you know, if that's something that you are interested in, please subscribe to my channel. I also do videos of home organization. So hip surgery is not only the thing I talk about on my channel. So yeah, if you, you know, are into home hacks, home organization, shopping hauls, DIYs, things like that. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button. But yeah, give this video a thumbs up if, uh, if hip surgery is something that you've experienced or you're going to experience and don't forget to comment below. But anyway, I just, I'm going to make this quick. I just wanted to give you a quick little update. So until my next video, I will see you. Bye.